crazy 90 minutes of football, finishing 4-3. A prediction that Dan Thomas had, actually. Oh. Fair play to him mm-hmm. on our ESPN FC show. First of all, Liverpool, any chance at all of a top four finish? No, no, not at all. The the, the top four is done. Uh, you know, yesterday, uh, uh, you know, I was talking about here uh, on ESPN and, and I just don't see it. It's a little bit too late. Four straight wins. It's good. It gives Liverpool a lot of hope, which maybe we'll talk about. Uh, but in terms of uh, what's happening at the top, Newcastle winning Manchester United, that was an important win. It, it wasn't easy. I mean, Manchester United played well, but I mean, it struggled just one nil. Uh, but that to me uh, will be enough going forward and and uh, Liverpool will just will not get there. You said we'll talk about it because I know you have a feeling that Liverpool have done what they needed to do after what's been a tough time for them but it feels like if you're a Liverpool fan it must be like ah every single week especially in a game like this but you feel there's an improvement and they're showing signs of recovery Yes, I, I think I think this is this is important, and you and I have talked about, uh, in particular with Chelsea. And remember, Chelsea and Liverpool were neighbors in the table, uh, uh, you know, not that long ago, right? I can't remember nine, ten, eleven, but they were very close. And we were looking at both clubs as having a really, really bad season, and we were wondering, you know, what's going to happen, right? Is because because to change that around. Who knows how long it takes, right? Uh, and I remember saying that with Chelsea more so than with Liverpool is that, you know, I see them when, when Chelsea were buying, you know, all those players, Liverpool were ob- obviously not. Uh, but I said, well, you need to show progress now. For the rest of the season, you need to do a little bit of an arsenal of a couple of years ago where they were eighth two times and then last season got to the fifth place. And you say, OK, there's progress, not in the top four. That's not good, obviously, but bodes well for the for the season ahead. And this is what Liverpool is doing. This is this is absolutely excellent because I think we all knew and and you know when you're missing so many big players, the the Luis Diaz, the Bobby Firminos of the world, and and you know Van Dijk's Konates, and you know they've had the share of injuries. Uh, Thiago Alcantara. No wonder that you can't perform at that level. I think that Liverpool still should have done better. But, you know, I could understand that this is not a total rebuild. On top of that, and maybe most importantly with Liverpool, getting those players back, winning some big matches, and that's important, is that the biggest thing to me that maybe is not talked about enough, or at least you and I don't talk about enough, that now we have a belief in Jurgen Klopp, because that was a question. Can Jurgen Klopp do it again? Has he been there too long? Hey, remember at Borussia Dortmund, seven years this, that, or the other. And all that, those were good facts, I think. And it was maybe good to bring that up. But that, to me, is the most important. Because going forward, there is plenty. We've talked about the midfield, how it needs to change. And you know what? Jurgen Klopp is a stubborn man, and we can see that. I don't know him, but we all can tell. I know where you're going. Trent, right? I mean, changing Trent Alexander-Arnold, because his resurgence continues, Janesh. But, but why didn't he do that before? Surely he thought about it. I mean... Gareth Southgate thought about it. He's played him in a game at, uh, I don't know, maybe, wasn't it Andorra? It was one of those smaller you, games. You mean he, why didn't he do it before now? Yeah. Why, why all of a sudden now? But but you know where well, I'm Now leaving. it's maybe needed more. They've had success before when everything was going what well, it was. No, maybe it finally the, is the final straw for him. Early in the season. I mean, Trent has struggled at right fullback for, for the entire season. This this happened just recently. Why not do it in, in, in you know, the January? In the, why not? Jordan Klopp knows. I mean, he's seen Pep Guardiola doing it. He's seen Mikel Arteta do it with Zinchenko, right? It was a little bit of, why not do it before? And as I said, it was done by England. And, and, you know, Gareth Southgate didn't believe that it was the time and he was ready for it, but this is long ago. So, so, you know, going back to what I was saying, Jordan Klopp, the the resurgence now is important going and building for the next season because now you get, you know, Gakpo has been absolutely wonderful. Salah is Salah. Uh, Diogo Jota scoring every game, just about, you know, unbelievable winner in whatever 90, you know, the winner against Spurs. Uh, uh, that win Nunez, that he's going to have to work on. So that's enough there. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, in the midfield, now Trent solves a little bit of that problem, but it's going to be interesting because I still think, even with that change of system a little bit, I still think they need two quality midfielders and the biggest issue now because it used to the biggest issue was in the midfield everybody said it was the midfield don't worry about defending uh don't worry about defending van dyke's going to come good well van dyke is nowhere near his best 
and he's had some games under his belt right now. There is no viable partner, center back par uh, partnership at Liverpool, and that's scary because Konata hasn't shown that he can do it yet. Uh, and you know, Trent obviously you have to move him around because of his deficiencies defensively, and you know, even Robertson uh, hasn't been at his best. So there's still some issues, but obviously a, a strong finish. Um, will give Liverpool some hope and transfer market in summer is going to be important. But as I said, most importantly, Jurgen Klopp now probably feels, look, we go again, as he often says. Yeah. Uh, and and so you uh, definitely, so just to clarify, you feel that Jurgen Klopp is still the right man to take them forward. Oh, and to absolutely. Get them out I always felt that way, but in the back of my head, I like everybody else, you know, there's always that, you know, you have to have some doubts. You can't just say, Oh, I absolutely know. How would I know? I see a team that's not performing as well as it did. For the, for the reasons that we all know. But I said, well, you know, maybe that message from your, you know, that, that 1% in the back of your head. But I'm glad that it's turning right now. And, and Jorgen is probably, I mean, he's, he's almost, I have to imagine that he's actually looking forward to the next season to show, hey, don't forget about us. We're going to be challenging for the title. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis, and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.